Kings have existed in human civilization for millennia, but did you know that other animals also have these monarchs? Introducing the Chinook Salmon Nicknamed King Salmon, they are the largest species growing up to 1.5 meters and weighing in at 55 kilograms. And although most known for their mighty size, their difficult migrations and ecological importance are truly what makes this organism stand out. Chinook prefer the cool northern waters of the Pacific and have a natural range along the west coast of North America and east coast of Asia. They are anadromous like all salmon, but have some of the largest and most demanding migrations, reaching up to 3,000 kilometers or 1,800 miles to get to their spawning grounds. Talk about a marathon. During these journeys, they do not eat and undergo physical transformations to appeal to other mates. Males develop a pronounced hooked nose and rigid back, and both sexes change from a silvery green-blue to a coppery red. Unfortunately, these grueling journeys take a large toll on their bodies, and the fish die soon after spawning. Therefore, Chinook have one shot to contribute to creating the next generation, and will lay up to 13,000 eggs per individual and hope that some survive. While seemingly devastating for the fish, let's look more into this event and discuss how it fits into a bigger ecological picture. Their end journey deaths alongside them being a favored key prey item for many animals is why they are a keystone species in the Pacific Northwest. When salmon die, all of the nutrients they absorbed in the ocean are released into the habitats around them, feeding the old growth forests and rivers. Additionally, animals like southern resident killer whales solely depend on Chinook salmon for their diets. In terms of conservation, Chinook and other Pacific salmon are a special case of careful management, as each individual population faces unique challenges. Most populations of Chinook are listed as threatened or endangered in North America, and as their numbers continue to decline, the impacts on the whales, the rest of the food chain, and the environment are felt. However, management practices are being implemented, including stronger regulations to prevent overfishing and habitat loss. To at least leave you with some hope, some populations remain stable or are seeing improvement in stock numbers. So, oh, if we want to continue this positive trend and ensure the king continues to rule the salmon world for generations to come, we must work together. For more videos on marine species, subscribe to our Discovery channel. Thanks for watching.